Today we're going to be walking you through how to replace your economy style bath fan and replace it with our new room side series fan from Brone. So first steps first, you get a few tools that you can find at most local hardware stores and uh, you'll begin by popping off the old grill. Simply pull it up off the ceiling and there's a couple grill springs behind there that you can pop off and uh, move those to the side. Next thing you're gonna need is a flathead screwdriver. You're gonna unplug the current motor. This flathead screwdriver pops in and you're gonna pop out this motor plate. And pretty simple, it comes out just like that. From there, what we're gonna do is pull out the wiring panel and unscrew our wiring. There should be three wire nuts, a black, a neutral, and a ground. And we're gonna remove those. From there, you're gonna take a cutout template that we have on the side of all our boxes at all our retail locations, and it shows you exactly how to do this. You're gonna place this over the fan and trace it with a Sharpie. So next step, we're gonna be cutting the drywall with a jab saw. Pop it in here, and right through your drywall, and then you start cutting away. So next step we're gonna do, we're gonna take the uh, economy housing out of your ceiling. So there's gonna be two either nails or screws on either side of the housing that you're gonna pry off and then remove the ductwork. So we're gonna be removing the nails on either side of the housing. You're gonna take either a pry bar or a screwdriver and pop them out. It should be fairly easy. Once you get those nails removed, you're gonna pull the can out of the housing and remove this ductwork here. So to do this, you just simply remove the duct tape that's uh, connected to the duct adapter and pull the housing out of the ceiling. Next thing we're gonna do is attach the included knockout onto your home's wiring. And screw it in place. Next step we have is folding in the mounting ears on either side of the can and then attaching that knockout plate to the back side of the can that we had. So for this, simply put it in and add a screw. Once the wiring's hooked up, you're gonna slide the whole housing into the ceiling. And then you're gonna take a couple screws and drill into the joist to attach the housing into your ceiling. Once your housing's attached to your joist and in your ceiling, you're gonna wire up the fan and the junction box here in the corner of the housing. So you are go green to ground, white to white, and black to black. Once you're on the wiring, you're gonna slide the junction box into the grooves in the corner of the housing and snap it in place. And take one of the included screws to secure that junction box. So a really unique feature of our Brone room side fans is the duct with the easy duct connector. This allows you to hook up your duct work from the room side. So we're gonna pull the duct work through the housing and uh, simply slide the new duct in and tape that down with some duct tape. So now we're gonna install your new motor. With this, you just simply slide it into the housing by simply pushing it down and locking it in on these two channels. Then we're gonna take the two-pronged plug and plug in the motor into that junction box. We're gonna secure the motor with a couple screws on either side. Final step in this process is installing the new clean cover grill. Nice, sleek, modern look. Simply squeeze the springs in and put them into these channels, one side at a time, and snap the grill into place. 